we're going to be talking about NASA going back to the moon, having to pay for faster acceleration in cars, and so much more in this episode of the Abacus Show podcast. So please stick around till the end. You're really going to enjoy it. I'm Jaden. I'm Devin. And we hope you enjoy. So we're going to get right into this. Um, talking about TikTok. Um, we told you we'd give you another update from the last episode. And uh, we're, we keep our word. So... This, we don't have too much to say about it, but I'm just going to read you this quote. Um, apparently, it's it's really more of a paraphrase, but the FCC commissioner, Brendan Carr, recently called on lawmakers to ban TikTok completely from yeah, just completely take off TikTok, just completely, like, just completely cancel it. Yeah, this, the, everything is politicized. This is a politicized issue, but whatever. Um, this is apparently something that people... Are, are asking for um, and that saying that there is not that there isn't a way to create sufficient protection of the data to keep it out of the hands of the CCP again this is a political thing I don't know how accurate that statement is but what I do know is that people are talking about banning TikTok this wouldn't be the first time People yeah, it's, like, like, remember back like a couple of years ago when TikTok was like oh it's, uh, it's basically like history repeating itself but again in the same way yeah, sorry, my yeah. camera's gonna be stupid for a second. Um, so, this is actually crazy because it, it affects a very large portion of people. A lot of people, I think it's TikTok is one of the highest uh, downloaded apps on the app store. Next to YouTube, kind of crazy. Yeah. So, so yeah, you know, we're, again, we're gonna keep you posted. If we have any more information, we'll let you know. But I'm sure if TikTok gets banned, it will be literally everywhere, so we won't have to tell you. Yeah, so Jade, what do you, how, how would you feel if, if, like, hypothetically speaking, or actually speaking, if, like, depends on the future, like, if TikTok, for real, got, like, taken off the face of the earth? <sighs> it'd be, it'd be crazy. I mean, I, I don't use TikTok. Um, yeah, neither do I. It, but I do know it has affected the internet entirely, so dramatically. Um, technically, it wasn't the first... Uh, platform to try and create short form content that would be Vine. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, um, Vine. I had never used Vine either. <laughs> yeah, me <laughs> either. But, but um, it wouldn't affect me personally too much, but it would affect the entirety of the internet. Um, it would give YouTube really a, a be dominant because of YouTube Shorts, and I guess Instagram Reels would probably gain some traction. But I'd say it would just strengthen YouTube so much if TikTok got banned. Um, and I don't know if it would necessarily be a good thing from a monopoly perspective, because when there's not a monopoly, there's force for change. And um, if YouTube got even more of a monopoly, I think that that wouldn't necessarily be good. But if there are privacy concerns, if the Chinese government is getting uh, user data, that's kind of a big deal, too. So, you know, yeah, I think it'll set a precedent, though, uh, if it does yeah. get banned. Uh, it'll set a precedent for other apps. Um, how would you feel if, if TikTok got banned? Well, personally, you know, I, too, have not had a tip. Well, I, eh, I'm not going to go down that road. But basically, what I've seen a lot, a lot is that TikTok, I think it would probably help us out. Because this is what I've seen and heard. There's a lot of stupid trends going around in the yeah. TikTok Community. I, think they, I think they would just migrate to YouTube, though. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, probably either migrate to YouTube or Instagram, and yeah, like sorry. I think that'd be a good thing, but not for the trends that were made on TikTok. So the next thing we're gonna be talking about is Netflix working on a triple A brand new PC game, which like I never thought I'd ever hear that sentence in my entire life. All right. Well, we're it is kind of interesting. Like, yeah, we did have signs that Netflix, I remember hearing that Netflix was planning on creating like a, a cloud gaming service. Um, but it is kind Netflix, of crazy. Play and, play and, I don't know, Netflix play and watch. It's like a new Telltale game, but better, I guess. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I mean, so, uh, I don't know how good of an idea this is going to be because on one hand, it's cool. I get that they want to diversify and Netflix, I, I believe we said in our first episode, I think that they lost a lot of subscribers because they keep on raising their prices and they keep on losing like network channels and stuff. Anyways, yeah. um, I think it's smart for them to try and diversify. The problem is that I don't see cloud gaming like that really taking off. So do you know what cloud gaming is, Devin? 
I don't know. Okay, so cloud gaming is basically, instead of playing a video game on your own, like, you'd be playing it on your laptop, but the game would be running on a server somewhere else. So. Oh, yeah, I've heard of that. Yeah, so for example, yeah. Stadia. By the way, Stadia is dead because Google axed it because it wasn't profitable. Because cloud mm. gaming isn't really picking up the attraction that people once thought it was going to. Um, it is It is a little unfortunate. It's a good idea in theory. Um, because people with really bad laptops, computers, whatever, can play games at high quality. The problems, though, are the cost and latency. Um, latency can be brought pretty down if you have good internet, but it's still gonna be a monthly subscription just to pay games, just to play games. I mean, Xbox Game Pass does it, but eh. Yeah. But yeah, so basically, back to what we were talking about, Netflix is making video games, and um... Ooh. They, they have, uh, the reason we know this is because, uh, they put up more than a dozen job listings on... A, on its website for their game studio in Los Angeles. Yeah. There, there's like... I didn't even know they had a game studio, actually. <laughs> yeah, me neither. The, 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 they are apparently offering 40 different games of spin-off of Netflix Originals. He has a whole other tangent thing. Speaking of tangents, me and Jaden are going to be making a tangent thing where basically we just spew out random garbage that just comes from the mind. Yeah, it's gonna be a sister channel to this show. It's gonna be called Random yeah. Rants, and I hope you guys enjoy, but you'll be hearing more about that later. So, yeah. now... It's a, um, it's a work in development. So, yeah. We don't have any segue to this, so imagine that we did. NASA is launching a... NASA? Space... Man, we were just talking about something that was like NASA. Whoa! <laughs> um, yeah. We're gonna be talking... Uh, I, this, that's a cringy transition. NASA launched a spaceship to the moon. You probably already know this. It's called it's Argus called... One, I think. It yeah, is, Argus, yeah. It is really exciting, actually. I'm pretty, I'm pretty hyped for this because <clears throat> this is the first in the attempts to make, to go back to the moon, like manned missions to the moon, and it's crazy because it's I been. By myself. Talking, hello, Patreon. So sorry. Talking to the mess. Anyway, so yeah. Um, hold on, let me let me continue my my sentence. Um, it's kind of <laughs> crazy that we haven't been back to the moon as a hum as a society. Humanity hasn't been to the moon yeah. in fifty years, more than. Um, so I think it is. Other people will say that we've never been to the moon in the first place, but <laughs> I don't. I, I honestly don't know what they think here, so I should probably keep my mouth shut. Yeah, I. Anyways, uh, it is pretty exciting. Um, the launch was a success. I actually watched it on YouTube. It was like 2 a.m. I shouldn't have stayed up. It was kind of anticlimactic, and I could have just watched it like the, the reruns, but whatever. It's cool. I, I'm hyped for it. There's going to be more unmanned missions, and then eventually there's going to be a manned mission. Um, I think it's exciting. Um, so, you know what spaceships do? They, they fly. fly. Do you know what else? <laughs> Do you know what else flies? Airplanes. Ah, dang it. Okay. Yeah. yeah, airplanes fly. And basically the segue that Jane's trying to do this is, for context, <laughs> or basically the next thing we're going to be talking about, is Apple made it so that airplane mode on your iPhone apparently tracks... Your flight. That your you're flight. In. It's actually, it's pretty cool. So... They, they yeah. did a clever thing. Um, as you know, being in airplane mode disables like cell data and stuff because I don't actually know if that's it necessary makes you fly. anymore. I, they thought that it interfered with stuff. Maybe they've decided that it does. I don't know. But anyways, um, and now you can get updates <laughs> um, about your flight, like how long until you'll be there, stuff like that. And it does a pretty clever thing. It says that it connects to the airplane's messaging only Wi-Fi that is normally free on most planes. Um, and then it updates through that. I don't know how exactly, but it's a pretty cool technology. It's going to be pushing in a new update to iOS 16.1. Yep. Um, and I think it's pretty sick. Uh, I yeah. don't fly very much, but 
Yep. And I'm waiting for the day I can fly. Yeah, he keeps talking about that. Like, we'll be playing video games in a VC. He'll be like, I want to go on an airplane. I tell him it's not that cool. I mean, it's whatever. It's not like listen, we're flying first class. The, listen, the, listen, uh, listen, patrons, uh, you, you probably are here right now. But listen, the reason why I want to fly is because think about it. The feeling that you get when you're going like, okay, here we go. Yeah. Going up. Whoa. Oh no, no, my ears feel like death and I'm chewing gum now. A anyways. Oh man. So, yeah, um, I'm yeah, gonna that's... pretend like I have a segue. Do you know who makes spaceships that fly? Oh, Elon <laughs> Musk! Elon Musk? <laughs> um, he's been restoring banned Twitter accounts. He made a poll, um, and they said. The, by they, I mean the people of Twitter said that they think that people who did not break a crime or break a crime, break a law, or uh, act, participate in spamming, uh, that if they didn't do those two things, that they would get unbanned from Twitter. So now a massive amount of people are getting unbanned. It's uh, gonna be interesting how that plays out. Again, don't really have much to say about this because, I mean, what would you say? Uh, Elon's been polling people on Twitter to make a lot of his decisions. So, so, yeah, I guess it's it's cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, Elon granted. Musk is a billionaire. You know who else is a billionaire? Mark, Mark Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg. <laughs> he Mark knows where Zuckerberg. I'm going with this all the time. We didn't talk about these transitions. He just knows. We really didn't. We basically just like, okay, how did we do this? And then just like jumped into it. <laughs> so Mark Zuckerberg. Um, Stocks are says, plummeting and they're bad. Well, so. yeah, we, we already talked about that, though. Apparently, yeah. um, he said, I don't know if he said this in like a meeting or to shareholders, I think that's what it was, or something like that, but um, he basically said that he thinks WhatsApp is going to be the driving like force for their company in the future, um, as opposed to the metaverse. And as you probably know, Mark Zuckerberg has only spent several billion dollars on the metaverse, yeah. only for it to be, I think, you know, just, a, I, just, yeah, just a measly billion dollars, you know, nothing, it, billions, nothing too. I'm pretty sure, I, I don't, don't quote me on that, but he spent a lot of money on, on the metaverse, and now he's kind of appears to be shifting gears, I think, I think focusing on monetizing WhatsApp is a really good idea, do you use WhatsApp? I do, actually, and now I'm scared, cause, no, 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 not, 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 not yet. <laughs> um basically yeah. the Mark Zuckerberg wants to find a way to monetize it and it's pretty difficult because they don't have ads and what are they going to really do maybe add like sponsored things I don't know but I think it is smart because WhatsApp is one of the most used apps uh, around the world it's incredibly popular and for good reason it's, it's very useful I don't really use it um I don't have a WhatsApp. I'm trying to get into using it. But it's cool. I family it's a, uses it a lot. And it's smart for for Mark Zuckerberg to kind of focus on that. But a little bit of bad timing because WhatsApp had a data breach. Um, it said, A data breach? What's a data breach? It says 500 million user records are for sale, probably on the dark, dark web or something like that. Um... And that's, that's a little bit crazy. Mark Zuckerberg says, hey, we're going to be focusing on WhatsApp. Oh, by the way, you can't trust us if we haven't made that clear enough. Mm. So um, that is a pretty big deal. I don't know what exactly was leaked. Do you know what was leaked? That's what I've been trying to ask you, actually. Because, like, yeah. I don't, like, I don't know what was leaked. It could have been, because, like, what I've seen is that, the WhatsApp is basically selling messages from people, and what I find it ironic actually is that in their ads, yeah, what, what I find ironically is that in their message, in their ads, they say like SMS texting, and then they'd be like, oh hey, here's a random conversation that like shows a lot, like hey, where the key, with spare key, is there something, All right? And then how it would go on a tangent about how like WhatsApp yeah. is like more secure, and now <laughs> that <laughs> means Jack Squat, and now if so yeah, that that is pretty ironic. Um, that's pretty ironic of them. But um, I digress. Yeah, this basically. Is, 
going to be another thing that we're going to have to keep you posted on. It's This is kind of a repeated thing. We're going to hook you in with a catchy, clickbaity title, and then we're going to reel you back in and keep you always coming back for more because we're always going to update you and you're going to be forever. And we're never going to leave you satisfied. <laughs> oh, we're such bad YouTubers. It's like um, Endgame. <laughs> it's like yeah, anyway, it's like Infinity War. It's like yeah. any to be continued. The um, biggest to be continued ever. So, I once again, you know how like four title or four things ago we were talking about the government banning things. Well, <laughs> this website called iSpoof um, has been seized by the FBI and the Secret Service. Apparently, ah, this is pretty crazy. This is pretty crazy. The, this How crazy? Website, this website was responsible uh, for... It, it said that iSpoof had around 59,000 users, which caused the losses of 48 million pounds um, uh, dispersed from 200,000 identified victims in the UK. Uh, basically, this was something... This was a website that was used to um, impersonate companies and stuff, and they were stealing from people. And now it's done. It's gone. Uh, which is good. <laughs> uh, what do you think about cybercrime? <laughs> Anyways. Cybercrime's bad and shouldn't be done. But hey, you want to know what else is bad? Well, not necessarily bad, but just kind of interesting. Apple apparently bought a soccer team. Dude, er, okay. Well, two things. First of all, there's a much better segue. It's that this website was called iSpoof. And what else starts with eyes? iPhones. And who owns iPhone? Apple. <laughs> and you know what Apple did recently? They bought a soccer team. Which... They didn't actually buy it. Um, this is all speculation, by the way. They, Apple has reportedly, um, and I'm definitely not just reading this uh, headline, uh, expressed interest in buying a UK soccer team called Manchester United. Um, apparently, the the figure going around was 5.8 billion pounds, which, for context, is like, I don't know, $7 million? Or, or $7 billion? My bad. $7 billion? Something like that? I don't know. Um, big amounts of money. Apple can do it. Uh, they, they have deep pockets. But, um... Mm, deep pockets, huh? I just love to imagine, like, <laughs> you're watching a game on, you know, TV, and they're like, and now we have the apples coming down the field. <laughs> like, they have a giant apple logo on their chest, on their <laughs> on their jerseys, and their logo is just an apple. I, I don't know. I just, I find this amusing to, to imagine yeah. a tech company owning a, a soccer team. Um, you watch soccer? I'm sorry, say that again, sorry. I said, do you watch soccer? Well, I don't actually. I don't want them. I don't watch that many sports. I mean, like, no, I, no, I like no. soccer. I like playing soccer, but I haven't got the opportunity to because. Yeah. 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 We like in America stuff with more action, football. Ah, oh, we just annoy yeah. the entire world. <laughs> no, I, yeah. I'm joking. I don't even watch football very often. Um. Yeah. So, talking about Apple more, um, something that I find really interesting, and I don't have too much to say about this, but there's a possible leak. Remember that all of this is speculation, so don't, don't quote us if it doesn't happen, but, um, Apple reportedly, I have a weird deja vu right now, is saying that, uh, the iPhone 15 might have solid state volume buttons, which means instead of it being a button where you press it and it presses in, it's just a thing that vibrates when you touch it, and it makes it feel like a button. Do you remember... Bruh. Did you ever own the iPhone... Was it 6 that got rid of... It was like the 6 or 7, I don't know. Um, I had the iPhone 6S. Of, but... Yeah, I think I think that one didn't have a real, a real home button, right? No, it did, actually. Well, no, it had a home button, but did it actually press in, or did it just vibrate? It, you you press in. Okay, well, one of them, I thought it was the iPhone 6, but it might have been later, got rid of it where when you would just press it, it would just vibrate. And they're talking about potentially doing that with the volume things. And they're pretty good with simulating a button press. Like, the, the Taptic Engine, which is just, like, 
which is what they call the haptic feedback when it vibrates, is really good on iPhone. Like, I remember owning an iPhone 6, and it was so bad, the vibrations. Like, when I was playing a game, it would just be this really loud, annoying, obnoxious thing. But then I got the iPhone... I don't know why I did that. I was trying to figure out what that was. Um, <laughs> the Angry Birds, yeah. Um... And then I got the iPhone 10, and the haptic engine was so much better. Like, I would be playing Candy Crush, don't judge me, and you it play would Candy be- Crush? I sometimes, on and off. I'll play it for like two weeks, and then I'll- What well, level are you on, a thousand? No, like 120, 200, And like your, your mom's probably on level a thousand, actually. She used to play, she doesn't anymore. Mm. Um, so, it would- just be so satisfying to do it. Um, and so Apple is pretty good at simulating button presses with their their vibrations. But honestly, I like physical buttons. Yeah, me they're too. Just, they're just... But it would probably better. free up more space. I understand. It's kind of the way of the future. Apple wants to get rid of any places for water to get in. They want to have more space to play around with it makes sense but it's it's interesting do you ever think that the iphone will go portless meaning no ports no charging port nothing man this the, is the day that they, thrown around do you think it'll yeah, happen the day that they got rid of the headphone jack was the day that i really got sad because why can't i charge my phone and plug in I, I like, know you gotta buy a separate adapter for that. You, it's like twenty bucks or something. The where you can <laughs> plug them both in. It's so stupid. Yeah, but, but hey, it's it makes better than sense. nothing. It's almost like they wanted to advertise something. Oh my gosh! It's all, yeah. It's almost <laughs> as if they, just look at my just like budget like AirPods. These aren't <laughs> AirPods at all. They're basically just like where did one? Go? Oh, it's in my ear. <laughs> <laughs> the one of them was missing, and then I didn't, and then I forgot I had it in my ear. It's literally in my ear. It's like right here, it's right here. Now you can't hear me. Yeah, yeah, I can't hear. Go. Now I can. Um, so oh, yeah, that's go. pretty interesting. Um, maybe it'll go portless, but not on the 15. I highly, highly doubt that. Um, they're gonna hype it up. Like, well, they're not necessarily gonna hype it up before they do it, but it, it's gonna be big, and I don't think it's gonna be the 15. But yeah. Um, you know another tech company? Um, I'm sorry. I really need to put on Do Not Disturb on Discord. Um, <clears throat> another tech company. Some idiot is... texting you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> some moron. <laughs> <laughs> man, they, man, it almost sounds like a, man. Yeah, it's almost like they know it's... I'm podcasting right now and they should stop talking. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> uh, another tech Man, company stupid. is called Amazon. I don't know if you've heard of them. Um, it's like the, like the rainforest or something? Uh, yeah, something like that. Um, but they... Isn't it like the Amazon rainforest that like, got burned down? We're going. Just like Amazon stock, get burned! Oh my gosh! Roast me, Amazon! Fight me in a rap battle! Uh... They're not Wendy's. <laughs> um, <laughs> so... <laughs> so apparently, according to this article from Ars Technica, um, the Echo uh, sales have been plummeting. I don't know how. I don't know exactly their metrics. I probably should have read this a little more carefully before I started talking about yeah. it. But I would. I get it because I've had an Echo Dot. Um, hi, Jeff Bezos. How's it going? He can hear me. Hey. <laughs> um, you're probably not here, but hey, while you're not here, let's see some random things about you. No, no, Jeff no, no, Bezos no. sounds like half baked ghost. I don't, I um, don't know. There's not really a reason to upgrade your Echo Dot, like, or normal Echo or Echo Show. They're all basically the same. Like, oh my gosh, the screen is slightly bigger. And oh wow, the volume is slightly higher. It. Man, it's like the iPhones all over again. For real. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's it's like what the, the iPhone... tech companies just making like small changes, saying that either the they battery is good. It. I mean, that's all they have. The tech companies, the only thing they can do to try and get more sales is to make <laughs> whatever updates they can. And to be honest, unless our Echoes and Amazon stop, Amazon Alexa stop working, um, 
why should we buy a new one? So I kind of, it kind of makes sense. This, this Ars Technica um, headline says, and I quote, Amazon Alexa is a colossal failure on pace to lose $10 billion this year. Do you use, um, do you have any Amazon Echoes in your house? Um, well, I'll give them the Echo, 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 that is not here. Um, no, I don't own an Amazon Echo. No. Yeah. Never do seen, you, do you have a Google, one. um, do you have a Google Home? I have a Google account. <laughs> okay, never mind. Um. Do you have the following objects that you just listed yourself? I don't have. I just talked about owning Amazon Alexis. Were you not here for that? <laughs> I was listening. Don't worry. Totally, bro. Totally. Um, yeah. I have once again no segue at all. So, um, again, imagine that I do. Woo. Um, San Francisco police proposed using robots capable of deadly force. Oh my god! Oh boy, man, Here we go again. Just, just, they're gonna oh come. Boy. They're gonna what? come sentient and take over the world. Uh, yeah, and then it's gonna be Terminator all over again. This is. I'm gonna have me and Jaden are basically gonna go to some place where it's really hot, and we're gonna have to throw a Terminator down some lava or something. So uh, I haven't watched. The, the, I don't the, watch. The, I haven't watched the Terminator. It's, it sounds good. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Um. The San Francisco Police Department, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna quote a little bit of this article from The Guardian, uh, has proposed that it will be allowed to use robots with, quote, deadly force while responding to incidents according to a police or a policy draft. Um, basically, this article says that the proposal will allow for these robots to kill people uh, when risk of Loss of life to members of the public or officers is imminent and outweighs any other force option available to the San Francisco Police Department. It said that giving robots the ability to kill would assist officers with ground support and situational awareness. I'm sorry. I don't think this is a good idea. I mean, that's not gonna be. I'm, I'm sorry, yeah, but this it. is literally the cops start are gonna be lazy to... about it and just like send the cop. Like that's potentially all right. Hang on, I, anytime I mean, that a piece the start of tech of every has bad. This is the start of every bad robot-based apocalypse movie ever. You get a bunch of robots that have the ability to kill people and set them loose into the world. Yeah. Um, I, I, get, I get it. I think that there are tons of practical applications for robots and especially AI, but gosh. Like, have you heard of Boston Dynamics? No. <laughs> Uh, I haven't I heard a lot of that, things. Okay. That no, no, I'm not laughing at that. That no was just funny for some reason. Um, Boston Dynamics makes like they make this one dog that um mm. is robotic, and they they do they are really impressive. Robotic, they are said. they are leading the industry in robotics, and they are very responsible with it. They will not sell their robots to a lot of people. And I don't think they have like AI or anything built into them. They are completely controlled. Maybe they're experimenting with it. I don't know. I'm not keeping up too much with Boston Dynamics, but the point is that this seems a little more, a little less controlled. I mean, it's by the police department. So of course there will be safety measures in place. I don't doubt that, but um, yeah, I don't know how good of an idea this is. I'm sure it would save lives, but what about the potential problems? And who do you blame? What What do you do if a robot kills somebody? Like, I don't know if I don't know if it will have a yeah, drop kick the robot. I doubt. Okay, so here's the thing. I doubt that it'll have AI controlling it. It'll probably be controlled by a person. Um, if if I had to guess, because I don't think that anybody has had the idea to give them. Yeah, remote controlled. So. That's not a huge deal. Um, it's just, what will it lead to? Um, Nothing good, probably. But do you know what this conversation leads to? Our last talking point. Our last talking <laughs> point. After this talking point, we're going to go because we're probably tired. Yeah, it's, it's too late. You don't want to know. Um, so, yeah. I don't know if you've heard of car companies um, selling features that already completely exist like for example i can't remember what manufacturer it was but one of them was trying to sell heated 
seats as a subscription. Hmm. It was already in the car. Oh my gosh. But you Dude. had to pay to be able to press the button and make it turn on. It's ridiculous. Like, I can own the it's technology. It's a car, not a spa. Come on. I know. I own it. I own all of the technology able to make it turn on, but I'm not allowed to because I don't pay for your subscription to fully benefit from a device that I already own or a vehicle. But there is something possibly, no, definitely worse <laughs> than that. Watch this. Mercedes. He's going to say something about like, gas mileage or something. No. Mercedes, $1,200 a year. $1,200 a year For what? to be able to accelerate faster. Apparently. Bruh, what kind of foolishness is that? <laughs> Apparently. Uh, hey, you want a car quote, that you make? And I quote, the $1,200 yearly subscription improves performance by boosting output from the motors by 20 to 24%, increasing torque and shaving about 0.8 to 0.9 seconds off the 0 to 60 acceleration when in dynamic drive mode. The subscription doesn't come with any physical hardware upgrades. Instead, it simply unlocks the full capabilities of the vehicle, indicating that Mercedes intentionally limited performance to later sell as an optional extra. This is from The Verge. You have got to be kidding me. I can own a car. I can own a car. Plug it in. I bought the whole speedometer. I'm going to use the speedometer. If, if, <laughs> I've heard that. Uh, or something like that. Um, apparently, it's only on their EVs, so I can plug my car in, take it out, drive it on the road, and my motor won't go as fast as the motor can go because I don't pay for a subscription for a car I already bought, spent too much money on, that I now have to spend money forever if I want to go faster. Dude, imagine if you were like, I'm going to a high-speed police chase, like, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. You gotta go online. You gotta go online and renew your acceleration <laughs> subscription while you're in the okay. chase. You're like, oh no. Where can I, um, I, hey, I'm can I get some... Case. Yeah, this is a Spider-Man phone case. I don't, I, I don't know how I got this, but yeah. Anyway, hello. Can I please get some more stuff and uh, and things on my acceleration? And then basically, Wait. just like completely, just. Uh, uh, but yeah. So it's I figured it out. This this article actually said BMW was the one that was charging eighteen dollars a month for in some countries for owners to use the heated seats. That's it was BMW. Crazy. Mm. Um. But, <laughs> uh, I guess, subscription-based models are very aggravating, and I think the last thing we're going to be talking about is this. Um, I get it, but I hate it. I, I get yeah. why subscription models are needed, like for Photoshop. You can't buy a perpetual license for Photoshop anymore, because Adobe um, is money hungry, but... Other than that, it does take money to upkeep Photoshop, and I get that. Yeah. Um, I it does get take a that. Lot of money to upkeep that. Yeah, it does. I mean, no, not that Adobe can't spend it, but it is their right to charge a subscription, especially if they can. I get that. I don't. I I get that people get annoyed by it, but I understand it, and it's unfortunate. It's an unfortunate part of the digital age, but it is something that we kind of have to live with. Uh, that's why I use GIMP. Um, I yeah. don't use I don't use Adobe Premiere or any of the editing things. I use DaVinci Resolve. I'm I'm a big fan of free open source technologies. Um, we're recording on Audacity, a free open source. I sound like a I sound like a sponsor. I'm not. Um, this isn't that, a sponsor, Audacity. Yeah, yeah. For legal reasons, we must <laughs> declare. Ourselves. Yeah, we are not proud um, sponsors of Audacity. We're disappointed by big sponsors. <laughs> mm, I don't, no, I don't, no, we're not sponsors I, at I all. Um, but anyway, this is yeah. the end of our podcast. So yeah, was, uh, we thank you for sick. joining it. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. So yeah, uh, join our Discord server because that is where we're going to post a lot of things, and you can see me and Jaden see some random crap and, on a certain channel. And <sighs> we might do some Discord stages later on. Also, yeah, I, I have to beg of you, please. Hit the like button. Our last video got three likes or something. It was pitiful. You might so, think that you're subscribed, but probably not. <laughs> YouTube sometimes unsubscribes people. <laughs> oh, help. That's actually true. 
It actually right. really is true, actually. Yeah. And YouTube no, analytics really, say the YouTube analytics say that you should subscribe. Um, yeah. Um, if if we get ten likes, all right, I'm gonna be more I'm gonna be more achievable this time. If we get ten likes, I'll invite my friend Nick to come onto the podcast. Devin's friend too. Um, it'll be fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I hope you guys hit the like goal um comment down below tell me what the your favorite part of the video was and any suggestions you have for us to to do things join our patreon yeah. it's going to be in the description and in our discord you get some awesome bonuses like uh deleted scenes is probably the coolest part five dollars more yeah, gets some of the stuff scenes. where basically i go ape crap over some random things you know you just and say some you random also get stuff. exclusive channels in our discord so i recommend it uh you can also yeah. pay three dollars a month just to support us but it's up to you um, up to you. And, you know, follow us on Twitter. Uh, we're plugging for too long, but I don't care. Follow us on Twitter. Subscribe. And uh, it, maybe we'll we'll do something special eventually. I don't know yeah. exactly what it is. Uh, but, yes, this has been the Abacus Show podcast. This was Jaden. Was this it? was oh. Devin, and this was Jaden, and then we'll see you guys <laughs> later. So, yeah. He forgot his own name. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh,